Measuring grass on your farm on a weekly basis will help you to increase the profitability of your farm business by improving grass quality and increasing grass utilisation. There can be huge variation in grass growth between farms and years. By measuring and identifying when surpluses and deficits are going to occur, you can increase grass utilisation, maintain good quality grass ahead of the cows and reduce feed costs. Measuring grass also allows you to identify paddocks that are underperforming, which can then be targeted for reseeding. Research has shown that increasing the amount of grass utilised on farm by one tonne of dry matter per hectare is worth between 161 and 267 euro per hectare. Efficient grassland management is based on weekly farm walks to estimate the grass cover in each paddock, facilitating crucial grazing decisions. Cover estimation can be done by visual estimation as you have done here. To be more accurate in your estimation, you can use a number of methods to calibrate your eye. The two main methods are cutting and weighing and the plate meter. To cut and weigh, you need a quadrat, a shears, a bag and scales, and a clipboard. The quadrat should be placed in an area of the paddock that represents the average grass cover in the paddock. The grass within the quadrat should be cut to 4 cm using a long cutting motion to achieve a clean cut. Check that the scales is at zero. All the grass within the quadrat should be gathered into the bag and then weigh the bag. The weight of the grass is 165 grams. The dry matter of the grass can be estimated based on the weather conditions and generally on a dry summer day is between 16 to 18 percent. A calculation is then used to work out the amount of grass in the paddock. The calculation is the weight of the grass multiplied by the dry matter of the grass multiplied by 40,000 as there are 40,000 quadrats in one hectare which gives us 1,188 kilograms of dry matter per hectare. A plate meter can also be used to measure grass height and grass cover in a paddock. The correct technique when taking measurements is critical to ensure accurate estimation of height and cover. A straight up and down motion is best. With a manual plate meter, a calculation is required to work out the height, whereas an electronic plate meter will work out the height and cover for you. A plate meter is also useful in checking to see if the correct post-grazing sward height, which is 4 cm during the main grazing season, has been achieved. When the farm cover is completed, the information is entered into the decision support tool, such as PastureBase Ireland or other commercially available software packages. PastureBase Ireland is a web-based decision support tool, which can be used on any computer with an internet connection. The grass covers we estimated today are entered here. Paddock 9 has a grass cover of 2,100 kg dry matter per hectare. In the management decision section, cow numbers, grass allocation, rotation length, concentrate and silage fed are entered. Today, cow numbers are 38, grass allocation is 17 kg dry matter per cow and no concentrate or silage is being fed. In an ideal wedge, all the blue bars would reach the red demand line. The demand line is drawn from the target pre-grazing yield to the post-grazing residual. Grass demand and grass growth rate are calculated when you enter the grass cover. In today's wedge, we can see that grass growth is higher than grass demand, so a surplus is developing on the farm, and the farm cover per livestock unit is above target. Paddock 9 is above the target wedge line and could lead to reduced grass utilisation and milk yield if grazed, but would make high quality grass silage. When paddock 9 is removed as bale silage, grass growth and demand are closer to synchrony. The farm cover per livestock unit is closer to the target of 160 to 200 kg dry matter per livestock unit 
and we have an ideal grass wedge. Another use of the grass wedge can be identifying when there is a deficit or a shortage of grass on the farm. As you can see from this wedge, although the cover is okay on the first two paddocks, after that there is a big deficit starting to appear. Supplementation, either concentrate or bale silage, can then be introduced to reduce demand. As you can see, the red demand line now better matches the grass available on the farm. The grass wedge can be effectively used to aid the decision making process, like removing a paddock for silage, providing confidence that there is sufficient grass on the farm. Using grassland management decision support tools such as Pasture Base Ireland or other commercially available software packages will help to improve grassland management and increase grass utilisation and farm profitability. The take home messages from today are during the main grazing season, maintain pre grazing yield between 1300 and 1600 kilograms of dry matter per hectare, graze down to 4 centimetres, and use the grass wedge to help decision making.